Please welcome Rebecca and sleep specialist, Dr. Raj Dasgupta to the show. Thank you for being here. And <laughs> profiling something that is, I imagine, incredibly mind-boggling to know that you're doing things without recollection and the fear of that. It is really scary. It's, I don't, it's hard to explain because I don't know what I've done. So you obviously did a full console. What, of course. what did you discover? You know, the discovery is she is profoundly sleep deprived. Waking up 10 times per night, I can't even imagine what the mathematics is for that. Yeah. She is caught up in a deadly triangle. And what are the points of that triangle? Number one, that sleep deprivation is the biggest risk factor in causing her sleepwalking. And because when we talk about sleepwalking, she's unfortunately genetically predisposed. We ruled out secondary causes of sleepwalking like sleep apnea, like looking at her medication list. And now that she's worried about hurting Charlie, she has a third point in the triangle, insomnia. And now she can't sleep, making what? The sleep deprivation worse, and it keeps on circling. So how are we gonna solve the problem? We're gonna help that sleep deprivation out. So I can't believe I'm saying this being the sleep doctor here, you know, but you need to nap. And I'm gonna tell you that you need those naps, 20 to 30 minute naps during the day. What other things we can do, one of my little techniques for, you know, newborns and moms, about the pump and sleep. You need to store your breast milk and something to help you feed at night. And on that, you know, when I had my children, shift work, have, have the dad and the mom kind of take turns and maybe even sleep in separate rooms to get that sleep. But I'm gonna say two things, always say yes to help. You need it being a newborn mom. And definitely say no to unwanted responsibilities. But I'll tell you one thing, that the end point, the finish line, it's close. And that's when the baby's gonna sleep throughout the night, you're gonna get more sleep and it's gonna help that sleepwalking, I guarantee it. Okay. So we'll, we'll put a plan together Right, Dr. Rai? We are. We're gonna have a plan together to get you that sleep because it seems so silly, but sleep yeah. itself is medicine. And to make sure you're getting the rest you deserve, Care.com is gonna hook you up with a six-month premium membership, free background checks, and a $1,000 credit toward any child care, house cleaning, or pet sitting services to make your life a little easier. That's amazing. <laughs> and, and Dr. Raj, I wanna ask sure. you, for anyone out there struggling okay. with insomnia and you know, that's gonna lead potentially to these parasomnias. There are right. these, these homemade tricks, like okay. this bedtime latte. <laughs> I had heard wow. that there are a couple ingredients in this. So this is turmeric, saffron, cinnamon, black pepper, and milk. Bedtime latte, sounds fabulous. <laughs> now, I had heard that turmeric, I'm a big fan of it, okay. but with saffron, that in some studies, it was, almost as beneficial as taking a prescription medicine? Yeah, I mean, herbal remedies for insomnia have been throughout the decades, whether it be valerian root, whether we're talking about melatonin, but if it works for you, as well as other standard sleep hygiene, why not give it a try? Well, Rebecca, I'm, I'm actually happy that you have some answers. Yeah. First of all, this is fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> love this. And I love things that can be good for your overall health as of well. Course. I know you're going to have a plan in place, yeah. Rebecca. I, I have nothing but high hopes for you because the fact of the matter is, in order to address a problem, you first have to figure out what it is. Dr. Raj, you are the problem solver. Thank oh, you, sir. Thank you. Rebecca, best of luck with everything.